Okay, so um, this is a course on uh, nature uh, introduction to materials. Uh, basically, we will be talking about nature and properties of materials. In this part, the part 1, uh, we will be looking at structure of materials. Uh, by structure, I mean basically the, the atomic structure and the crystal structure of materials. Uh, this is a 20 hours course, uh, which means you will have 40 half an hour lectures. This is a course basically which requires uh, a background which is uh, which could be BSc in physics or chemistry or it could be bachelors in non-materials related discipline. It is even useful for masters students in uh, non-materials background for example in masters in engineering, masters in mechanical engineering, chemical engineering or masters in physics. So basically it's, it is suitable for all the students who have not had a um, a, a dedicated course on materials uh, looking at the structure and properties of materials. So, the course will have uh, uh, the course will have basically 50 percent weightage on assignments and 50 percent weightage on final exam. Uh, now, let me talk about the contents of the course. Uh, in this course, uh, since it is about structure of materials, we will be mainly looking at uh, the structural aspects. So, we will start with the, the basic crystallography, uh, its introduction, uh, what is the role of uh, what kind of crystal systems we have, what kind of crystal lattices we have, uh, what, what is the role of symmetry in determining the crystal structure and crystal systems. We will also introduce you to um, uh, Miller indices uh, and interstices in the structures so that one can correlate various properties later on with the with various axes in the unit cells uh, because a lot of properties as we know they have an isotropy um, in them. And then uh, once we have obtained this basic background on crystallography and uh, crystal systems and uh, bravais lattices we will move on to structure of materials. So, first in this uh, sequence we will talk about structure of metals and alloys. Uh, whose formation rules are different as compared to other materials. So, in this case uh, we will mainly look at for example, Humro 3 rules and uh, uh, how the metals um, form various structures and their alloys. And then we will move on to structure of ceramic materials because structure of ceramic materials are, uh, is formed by a complete different set of rules because ceramics contain two different kind of kinds of ions. They contain anions and cations as a result electrostatistics plays a uh, important role in determination of these structures. So, we look at structures of ceramic materials such as sodium chloride, magnesium oxide, calcium chloride etcetera and the materials which are uh, based on those structures. And then we will look at another class of materials that is structure of polymers. Uh, now, polymers uh, and uh, perhaps glasses uh, these are different classes of materials uh, in the sense that uh, they tend to be uh, they, they do not tend to be completely crystalline as a result the structure of these materials is slightly different uh, is quite different actually and uh, uh, and one needs to know about what kind of structures uh, these materials make and what is the uh, what is the distinction between polymers and other materials. Once we have known about the structure of various classes of materials, we will move on to structure determination. How do you determine the structure for example, crystal structure of metals and alloys or ceramics uh, and we learn about extra diffraction in, the, in, in that, in that con context. Uh, the, the basics of extra diffraction is application to determination of crystal structure and things like um, crystallite size, strain etcetera. And finally, uh, um, materials are not without the defects. We will look at the defects in materials primarily looking at the point defects uh, and uh, line defects and surface defects which are uh, uh, which are useful to know once you have had some background in the crystallographic structure of the materials. So, this will be uh, end of 20 lecture series or 40 lecture series uh, or 20 hour lect lecture series in uh, nature and properties of materials uh, looking at the structure of materials. Uh, Subsequently, in, in part 2 uh, uh, as and when it is conducted, uh, we learn about the thermodynamics, phase equilibria, phase transformations and properties of materials.
subsequently. So, this is the summary of uh, this particular module that is structure of materials and introduction to materials nature and properties. Uh, okay. Thank you.